You know when you're hacking and you come across something your horse is frightened of? Well, let me tell you, I reverse down this road at 100 miles an hour because my horse is petrified of cows. Just getting him close to this, even the dog's scared, look. Getting him close to this gate took some stellar negotiating on my part. You know, and you can feel their heartbeat <laughs> through the saddle. That's the kind of vibe that we're getting right now. Yeah, That's the moment. But slowly, surely, he starts to enjoy it. He's basically the Pied Piper of cows and they can't get enough of him. Look at them having a little smooch. You know, instead of waiting for a good day to happen, you know, waiting to... I spent about 80% of my time talking about Regina. <laughs> I need to feel something. Harry, can you tell me something that'll piss me off? Boba Fett's better than Mondo. Yep, that'll do it. yesterday i filmed a video giving you an update on billy's hoof and just saying how i was keeping it clean now he had his special shoe on he's only gone and pulled it off like the next day he pulls his shoe off so now he's back to wearing a nappy and his barefoot hoof boot that's what we're dealing with and just to really rub salt into the wound the farrier that's been dealing with billy throughout this whole saga He's injured himself and he's got some personal things going on, so he can't really be involved in it anymore. So I did ask him if he could come out and put Billy's shoe back on like ASAP, but obviously that can't happen for various reasons. He was due to come out in a week's time anyway with the vet and we were going to like reassess the situation, see if he needed the special shoe putting back on again or whether he could just go to normal shoes now. I think he probably would have gone to normal shoes. But now I'm thinking, I don't think there's another farrier that I would trust, especially coming into it at this late stage in the case. I want someone that knows all the history. What, should I leave him barefoot? I, I don't know. I'm really reaching out to the barefoot community. What do you think I should do? Should I, do you think it's okay to leave him barefoot? I mean, it's got to have been at least six weeks since his hoof resection and it has grown back really well. Is it a good, I, I just don't know, is it a good idea to leave his hoof bare or does he need a shoe putting on? I just don't know. What I think I'm going to do just for like the here and now is keep it covered up in a nappy and his hoof boot and I might just do that. I've obviously got to do it over the weekend. And then I might just see what the vet says, how she thinks it's coped. Having a few days without a metal shoe on and then just see where we are. I don't know, do any of you know? Like the boy will tell me what you like about him. has just left he's put billy's bar shoes on let me show you what they look like that's what they call a heart bar shoe because it's got this heart shape here and it just it's just going to keep the hoof more together so that it doesn't split it's going to give the hoof more support and stop it from splitting and this going up any higher this isn't actually the bad foot that's the bad foot however the farrier cut into this hoof as well because it had a crack that was starting to get stuff in it and it was just looking like it had potential to go the same way as the bad foot and i'm so paranoid that this is going to happen again like i just can't i can't go through it again i'm sure billy can't either so we're just doing everything we can to make sure that his hooves are in as good condition as they can possibly be comments like this are not only hurtful they're simply just not true. I don't buy my own horses.